video I'll show you how to edit and review existing Traverse information. This is like a Captivate version 3.02 that was released in January of 2018. I have my project here with my Traverse information and I will select the Traverse application and then I will select choose an existing Traverse. I'll press OK. Uh, this shows me the Traverses that I have uh, on my, in, in this project. In this case there's only one. I can then select the data and this will show me the sets that were turned. So I have three sets and it tells me that on, that on each of these tra three traverse angles it's three sets were turned. So if I want to look at the data and review it I can select one of the sets and press edit. This will show me my point ID for my foresight. I can go to my back site. I can also look at my station you'll notice I have the ability here to change my uh, my uh, instrument height on the station I also have that ability on the back site or I'm sorry on the foresight excuse me you can change that information I can also review the information that was collected so if you, you'll see here I'm looking at the horizontal spread the vertical spread and the distance spread of the three sets if I press more I can then see the horizontal arc angle average, the vertical average and the distance average for the sets. If I continue to press more I can look at the standard deviations. So if I'm okay with that information I can press OK. One word of caution I would offer here. I would not use this screen to delete traverse angles. Um, the only one that might possibly work for deletion would be the last traverse angle turn. If you realize that one of the angles or sets that you've turned is out of your tolerances, I would recommend you go back into the, um, the measure, measure program and use the Measure Foresight application to add additional sets. And then in your office, use your office software to remove uh, the bad traverse angles and insert the new traverse data. This will, this will keep you from having issues with your data in the field.